Hi, this is Sahana. In this Entity Primer course series, our today's topic is one-to-many relationship. In our last video, we have discussed one-to-one -one relationship. If you want to go through that video, you can visit my channel. There you will find a playlist by name Entity Primer Core. There you will find that video. One-to-many relationship is used when a single entity is associated with any number of other entities. In the context of relational database, if each row from one table has multiple matching rows in another table, we call it as one-to-many relationship. Look at this application. Here we have three models or you can call them as entities. Here we have employee, employee details and manager. If I open employee entity, this entity has one-to-one -one relationship with employee details entity. We have discussed this in our last session. Now, here we have one more entity manager entity now we are going to discuss one to many relationship with regard to employee and manager if we take same example employee and manager in most of the common scenarios employee can have only one manager but manager may be associated with many employees this is one to many relationship now let's understand how to set up one to many relationship in SQL Server, we can set up one-to-many relationship using primary key and foreign key constraints. In case of Entity Framework Core, we name the entities involved in relationship as principal entity, which is a parent entity, and dependent entity, which is a child entity. On principal entity, we set primary key property. On dependent entity, we set foreign key property. We also have special types of properties. We call them as reference navigation property and collection navigation property. Let's see how to set them up. We have this employee class here. Employee ID is a primary key. Talking about primary keys, by default, Entity Framework Core will assume that a property named ID or class name along with ID, in our case, it is employee ID, is the primary key of an entity. The second thing is you can also use data annotations to explicitly specify the primary key property using the key attribute. I'll show you how to do it. And one more thing is you can also configure the primary key using the Fluent API in the on model creating method of your DB context class. In case of manager class, manager ID is the primary key. I have open employee class. Here what you see is one to one relationship with employee details. Now, we are going to set up one to many relationship with manager. As we have discussed earlier, one employee can have one manager. So, here I have used manager ID. This is the foreign key and I am using reference navigation property to manager. So, I have used this one. Now, this is from employee side. I have open manager class. One manager can have many employees. So I'm using this collection navigation property to represent the employees managed by manager. Here I'm using collection of type employee and I have named this as employees. This way we can set up one to many relationship. This setup means an employee can have only one manager. This class says manager can have more than one employees. We are done with the setup. Okay, I'll open this app DB context class. We did not introduce any new table, so I'm not going to add any DB set property. Here we have employees, managers, and employee details. That's enough. Now I'm going to add migration because we have modified the entities and we have set up relationship. Let's open package manager console. I will say add migration. I will name it as one to many relationship. Enter. We have added new migration this one to many relationship this says this is going to add new column and this is going to create index and add foreign key next step is update database using update database command hit enter will succeed it okay this command has successfully applied the migration one to many relationship that's it we have set up one to many relationship that's all for today's session i hope the session was useful see you soon in the next video thank you